Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back with another sad story today. This one, this one's more of an update story. It's a short story today. I'll be honest with you, I'm real tired. I, I was meant to do this video about two days ago. I woke up feeling mad tired. I didn't really want to do any videos today, but I thought to myself, this video ain't gonna be long anyway, so let's just get out of there. So. Without further ado, let's get straight yeah. into this video. I ain't gonna waste no time. Like, comment, subscribe for me. Hit the bell to be notified for me. All of that, all of that. Subscribe if you're new. Yeah, I appreciate you joining the channel, watching the video all the way through and all of that. So yeah, now, guys, I did a video on this last year, I believe. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did a video on this. That's why I'm doing a video now. But either way, I do so many videos, I forget. Now, if you cast your minds back to last year, you might actually remember this story. At the end of last year, it was circulating around social media and what the story was was about this 18-year-old girl who we now know her name's Verfi because she's recently been in court to give her pleas and give her name, things like that. We found out that Verfi was partying for six days, right? So she was partying for six days and her poor 20-month-year-old daughter passed away due to neglect. Okay, so just to remind you of the story very, very briefly, on the 5th of December 2019, Verfi was captured on CCTV, right? Leaving her flat in Brighton, the space where she and her daughter, Asaya, lives. The CCTV captured her leaving the building on her own, and she did not return to the building for six days. Now, in that time, she was partying, okay? She was partying for her 18th birthday. So she left her 20-month-year-old daughter in the house on her own while she partied for six days. Now, I remember when the story came out, yeah, people were coming up, well, people were shocked, obviously. It's a shocking story that you can, uh, what, what kind of woman what kind of girl, what kind of person would leave their daughter for six days? And there was a lot of kind of conspiracy theories going along like, oh, we should look into this more. It, what, it, couldn't, it can't just be her fault. Yeah, apparently she was at a center here and this, this and this. And right, all, all these things were coming out because people wanted answers. Like who, who would do this? So when Verfi returned to the yard six days later, she found her poor daughter had passed away, obviously. Obviously, her daughter had passed away, sadly, okay? Now, the official report after she called 999 uh, and said that my daughter's not gonna respond to X, Y, Z, um, the coroner found out that her cause of death was due to neglect, but more specifically, starvation, dehydration, and the flu she had caught from neglect, do you understand? So the overall thing was neglect, but the consequences were everything I just said. It was October 2020 where she got charged. Okay, so that's why the story seems quite fresh and that's when the world kind of found out about it. So you're all caught up. Now she's recently come into court to give her pleas and give her details. That's where we found out her name's Verfi Kudi. And her plea is guilty, okay? Now she's decided to plead guilty. So that's interesting that all these stories that were coming out about the, the care that she was in and whose fault it was. Was it this family's fault? Was it, was it where was the parents? Was it the mum? Was it this rah, rah, rah? Me personally, there is no excuse for this. There is no justification for this. It doesn't matter what kind of care she was in, what kind of family she has. It's very important that, you know, as a human being, as a young adult, or, or she was a child to be honest, but as a human being, we understand the importance of parenthood or raising a child. You know, I quickly learned from a very, very young age that I don't want a child yet or whenever, you know, ahead of my time because my life no longer becomes a priority. Okay, that's, that is the number one thing why I don't want children right now because I'm not ready to give up my freedom and my priorities. My priorities aren't straight. Like I need to, I'm not rich, I'm far from it. So I need to blow on this YouTube thing. I've got things behind the scenes that I'm working on that I can't wait to tell you guys and things like that. So I, I don't want no kids, but that's my mentality. Now, she was a kid having a kid. So she was, she was she neglected her child when she was out partying for her 18th birthday. Her child was 20 months old. So she was under 17 when she had this child, what, 16 or so, you feel me? When she fell pregnant or whatever. I can't be able to do the math, my brain's fried. But something like that. She is a child having a child. And for me, that's just too young. Now I understand people can make mistakes. Some people have different paths in life. I'm not judging no one. But I think it's, that's, that's, far, that's clear signs that something is far too early to be having children. You are not, you're not an adult until you're, in my opinion, 21. Minimum. 18, yeah, you're legally an adult, but you ain't. You're not. And this is a prime example of someone who shouldn't have had kids. Now, why she didn't terminate the pregnancy is her own reasons, her own, it could be religious, it could be her own morals, it could be family, whatever. It's not my place, it's not my place. Anyone can keep a baby or not keep a baby, it's none of my business. Um, but, you know, it does beg the question, 
like, was this necessary? You know, bringing this poor girl into this world when you're not ready just to neglect it, you know, when push came to shove. And, you know, we can always look, we can always look for answers. Was she mentally, mentally well? Was she this, was she that? Was the family this? We, we can always look for answers. But at the end of the day, this woman has pled guilty. Okay, she pled guilty. And the reason why I think she doesn't, it, it is her fault more time, because when her baby had already died, she was releasing YouTube videos. While she was under investigation for, for a manslaughter and neglect, which she's obviously come to court to plead guilty for, plead guilty to manslaughter. The fact that her daughter had already died and she'd been releasing videos on YouTube and tweets saying how she wants to become a, uh, an influencer and this, this and this. And, and that video apparently is still up by the way, that video is still up on YouTube, the video that was up, like that she released while her baby was already dead, do you understand? So that type of behavior suggests to me that she just didn't, there wasn't that attachment there. Her conscience wasn't clearly there, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying she's a devil, I'm not saying she's a demon, but her priorities weren't there. She clearly was focused more on social media presence than child, her, ch her child, raising her child. Even after her child has passed away, she's still focusing on this, this and this while she's being investigated, you understand? So, yeah, I mean, listen, this could be a prime example of post, um, uh, oh shit, what's it called? Is it postnatal, de postnatal depression? This could be a prime example of postnatal depression. You know, where after her child was born, her attachment to it wasn't there. She fell into a mental health issue. She could have been depressed. You know, she wasn't as, as attached to this baby that she's brought into life. And that's something that really needs more educating because this girl now has, not only has she lost a baby, she has lost her life. You know, I mean, she she's pled guilty to man manslaughter. I don't think she'll get an alarming amount of time, but she's lost a big portion of her life. She's, she's gonna be, that's gonna be, that's gonna stay on her for the rest of her life. Um, and we need to be looking into more things like postnatal depression, if this is an example of that. Because that baby's passed away, she's lost her life, and who, who wins from this? No one wins from this. You know, we all lose, or not we, but we, everyone loses in this situation. So if this, if this could have been avoided, then we need to make sure that we, we can do that in, in, in the future. But I'm not really buying the crocodile, crocodile tears in court, um, considering her behavior during the pregnancy, after the pregnancy or whatever, has not been, not been the greatest, so. But yeah, man, let me know your thoughts below. This is a real sad story all involved. Rest in peace to Asaya. No one deserves to go out like that. I keep thinking about that poor girl's last days and how she would have been feeling and what she would have been experiencing. Like, really, really put yourself in someone else's shoes. That's how you, that's, that's, that's empathy, you understand? A lot, most people don't really have, seem to have that, but. Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts below. Peace.